Hello and welcome back to Colony Airdrops. In this video, I will show you how you can set up your Aztec Network Sequencer node and grab the Apprentice role. Okay. So if you are not subscribed to our channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel and join our Telegram as well as, as well as follow us on Twitter. So we will use this guide to set up our Aztec Network Sequencer node. Okay. So here if you can see sequencer node, the, hard, the requirements are 8 core CPU, 16 GB RAM, 100 GB SSD. Okay. So it is 1 TB SSD but it works for 100 GB SSD as well. So you can run on lower end machine as well. Okay. So I have tried on 6 core as well. It works on 6 core as well. And so if you want to try on lower end machine, you can try on lower end machine as well. Okay. So these are the hardware requirements for sequencer node. The prover node requires a lot of machines, uh, so it is usually for data centers. Okay, so we will not running prover node, and we will running only sequencer node. So open your VPS. I'm using Termias to run our node. Okay. So I've already installed Docker. Okay. So you have to install dependencies. Run this command in your VPS. Okay. This command, this command, and install Docker. So install Docker. You have to run this command line by line. Okay, copy this command line by line and run your VPS. Only for this command, you have to copy the whole from echo to dev null, and then you have to run in your VPS. Okay, then again line by line. Once you have installed Docker, you can test the Docker with this command. Okay, now we will install Aztec. Okay, type y. Type Y, okay. So to check, it has say installed, okay. Copy this command. Wait a second. So it says as the command not found, okay. So if it says this, what you need to do is you have to check if it is properly put into the path okay so copy this nano root slash dot bash profile so it stays okay so it shows that it is copied so run this command root dot bash profile okay. now if you check extract so now it works okay Let's go back and update our hashtag. Okay, so it shows that it works. Okay. So you have to run this command. Okay, once you have installed uh, this hashtag, you need to run this command source backslash root backslash dot back profile. Okay, so now hashtag of alpha testnet. So now here main things come. Okay. So for RPC URL on weekend URL, you can get it from Anchor, but you have to pay some USDT. Or if you want to use the free version, you can log in via Alchemy. Okay, so it will show you like this Alchemy. So go to apps, then Ethereum chain will be Ethereum, network will be Sapolia, and then copy this URL. Okay, network URL. This is the RPC. Okay, save it somewhere. Okay, so now create a new wallet. Uh, you back up that private key on of Ethereum. Okay, that ETH private key, and then get public address as well. Okay, public address is Ethereum public address. Okay, your Ethereum wallet address, and then top it up some with Sapolia Ethereum. Okay, some deposit some ETH, ETH Sapolia in your wallet. Now, if, to get the IP, this is the IP. If you are using WSL. Okay, you can get it the IP using this command or if you are using VPS, uh, this is the VPS. If you run this command, it will show the VPS IP address only. Okay. So now run this command. Let it. So in this command one by one. Why? Now 
now open screen now here comes the main part okay so make sure to copy this whole thing in your notepad okay open your notepad and copy this whole thing this rpc url is the rpc url we get from alchemy okay this one and this beacon url if you want to use the free version it is here okay beacon url or if you want to get the paid one you can get it from anchor okay so if you click on beacon it will show you the beacon rpc okay you can, if you want to use the free one you can use this one okay copy that this uh, link and then paste it here in beacon url okay so rpc url beacon url and then your private key okay so for your private key you can get your private key from your wallet so it will be your ethereum private key ethereum matters private key and then you can remove your 0x okay if you have 0x in your private key you can remove that 0x and then this this is your eth address okay ethereum address of your wallet and then for ip you can get it from here using this command or or if you are using vps then it is your, it is your vps ip address okay so once this is done and you have pasted in notepad copy that whole thing and run in your vps okay so my node has started okay so once it starts it will take some time to sync okay so once your node is synced you can try to get the role okay apprentice role how you can get that open this discord okay go to operators channel start here channel copy this command once your node is synced copy this command okay open the vps and type control ad to go back okay so once you go back run this command okay so it currently my node is not synced once your node is synced you will get your block number okay block number like this okay and in output like this so once you get your output copy this output and paste it here in your block number okay two times here and here and copy this whole command including your block number which we have uh, get from the first command and then you will get a string okay a long string you will get and then you will use that string in uh, to get your role okay how to get your role go to this operator start channel okay i will show you how you can get role okay this is the operator start here channel then type backslash operator start type enter this is address will be your uh, eth ethereum address okay the block number is the block number that you get from here okay this command this 2090 is the block number and the string okay this proof to get proof you will have to run this command okay once you run this command with your block number uh, you will get a long string copy that string and then paste it in this proof section okay once you have done that click on enter and you will get your role so once this is done you can register your validator as well in the same way okay once your node is synced and everything you can use this command again to you in order to register your validator how you can do that rpc url will be the same as alchemy one okay this is alchemy one and then private key is your private key without the 0x the validator address here two times okay one year second year the your wallet address and then you can use command and then in vps okay so that's it for this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in my telegram channel and i will see you in the next one